Good morning, dear students. Welcome to Conceptum classes. Our today's topic is ninth class mathematics, lines and angles. Exercise 6.2. In this session, we will discuss from question number one to question number four. But first, let me remind you, if you are the first time viewer of this channel, please don't forget to subscribe it. The question number one says that in the given figure, find the values of x and y. A figure is given here. You have to find the value of x and the value of this angle y, value of angle x and value of angle y, and show that this line AB is parallel to line CD. So what is given? Given is that two lines two lines AB and CD are intersected by a transversal. Let me name this transversal as E and F. Let the transversal AB intersects AB at let me say M and CD at L and a transversal intersected by a transversal EF at M and N respectively. Now what we have to do required We have to find values of angle X and values of angle Y to find the value of X and Y and also show that AB is parallel to CD and show that AB is parallel to CD. This we have to do. So let us see the proof. If you look at the figure, you can identify here. Here EF is a line and ray MA stands on it. Look here. Here EF is a line like this. This is E and this is F and a ray MA stands on it. So that means this angle, it has been given as 50 degree and this angle is given as X. That means angle this, angle AME plus angle AMF plus angle AMF. Some of these two angles will be 180 degree because these are linear pair of angles. Now EF is a straight line. And ray M A stands on it. Therefore, angle A M E plus angle A M N is equal to one hundred and eighty degree. These are linear pair of angles. Now angle AM is 50 degree. Angle AME, it is 50 degree. Plus angle AMN, that is X, is equal to 180 degree. So therefore we can say that angle X is equal to 180 minus 150. Angle X is equal to 180 minus 50. It is equal to 130. Now here, this angle C and F is also 130 degrees. Now, now 
if you look at the figure, angle C and F, this angle C and F, and this angle M and D, this angle M and D, these are vertically opposite angles. And this angle one is 130, that means angle Y will be also equal to 130. So here we have Let me write here, angle C and F is equal to angle M and D. These are vertically opposite angles. Angle C and F is 130 degree. It is given. Therefore, Angle M and D is also equal to 130 and this angle M and D is marked as angle Y or we say Y is equal to 130 degree. Now if you look at X, X is also 130 degree and Y is also 130 degree. Let me name this as first equation and let me name this as angle equation second. Now from first and second, from equations first and second. We have angle X is 130 degree, angle Y is 130 degree, we have angle X equal to angle Y. So that means this angle X is equal to angle Y. Now this angle X and angle Y, these are alternate interior angles. Now angle X, we first pause the video, note it down and rub it. Now, angle X is equal to angle Y, but angle X and angle Y are alternate interior angles. And you have already studied term 6.4. If you have not reviewed that video, a link is given in the description. Please see the video and you see the uh, term 6.4. Term 6.4 says that if a transversal intersects two lines such that pairs of alternate angles are equal, then the lines are parallel. So here angle X and angle Y are alternate interior angles. When alternate interior angles are equal, lines are parallel. It is term 6.4. Now when Pairs of alternate interior angles are equal, lines are parallel. Hence, AB is parallel to C. Next question, question number two. You note it down, let me move to question number two. Now question number two says that Question number two says that in the figure, if AB is parallel to CD is parallel to EF. The figure is given in which AB is parallel to CD is parallel to EF. The figure is given in which AB is parallel to CD. is parallel to EF and Y is to Z is 3 is to 7 and a transversal here intersects them 
this angle is marked as x this angle is marked as y and this angle is marked as z so it is given that y is to z y is to z is equal to 3 is to 7 we have to find x we have to find x now given is that that ab is parallel to cd and cd is parallel to f y is to z is to 7 we have to find x required to find x now y is to z 3 is to 7 prove y is to z is equal to 3 is to 7 this y is to z is 3 is to 7 let me say let y be equal to 3x and z be equal to not x let me put as a y equal to 3a small a and z equal to 7b z equal to 7b now it is given that AB is parallel to CD and CD is parallel to EF. Two lines which are parallel to the same line or parallel to each other, problem 6.7. Two lines, you have two lines. AK line is parallel, ho, or do line is parallel. Two lines parallel to same line. are parallel to each other so that means ab is parallel to ef when ab is parallel to ef that means angle x is equal to angle z now here if we have ab and we have ef here and this is the transversal that means this angle is equal to this angle this is x and this is z that means angle x is equal to angle z these are alternate interior angles therefore we have angle x equal to angle z these are alternate interior angles now angle z we have put it as 7a we have put it as 7a now angle z is equal to 7a that means angle x will be equal to 7a will be equal to 7 now if you look angle x plus angle y since a b is parallel to cd angle x plus angle y these are consecutive interior angles and their sum will be equal to 180 degree first you pause the video note it down let me wrap this Now, AB is parallel to CD, it is given, therefore angle X plus angle Y is equal to 180 degree, these are consecutive interior angles. Now angle X, that is 7A, plus angle Y, that is 3A equal to 180 degree so that means 10a is equal to 180 degree because 7a plus 3 is 10a that means a is equal to 180 by 10 10 18 a is equal to 18 degree 
Now a is equal to 18 degree, we have to find x. Now x is equal to 7a. x is equal to 7 into a is 18 degree. So x is equal to 7, there's a 56. 7 on the 7, 5, 12. 126 degree. This is the value of x. Note it down. Let us move to question number 3. Question number three. Third question is in figure, figure is given AB is parallel to CD. AB is parallel to CD. EF is perpendicular. EF is perpendicular. That means this makes 90 degree angle. And angle GED. Here is a point G. And angle GED. This whole angle. This angle GED is equal to 126 degree, 126 degree, then find angle AGE, so given, what is given, AB is parallel to CD, AB is parallel to CD, and EF, and EF is perpendicular on CD, angle GED, is equal to 126 degree. What we have to find out? Rukhayat. To find angle AGE. Angle AGE. This angle we have to find out. Angle GEF. Angle GEF. This angle. Angle GEF. And angle FGE. And angle FGE, this angle. We have to find this angle, this angle, and this angle. And angle FGE. Now, C. Now, it is given that AB is parallel to CD. Look at the figure. AB is parallel to CD, and here clearly GE is transversal. G is transversal. AB is parallel to CD and GE is transversal. Here, this is AB and this is CD and this is G. G is transversal. That means this angle AGE will be equal to angle GED. These are alternate interior angles. Therefore, angle AGE is equal to angle GED. These are alternate interior angles. But it is given that angle GED is 126 degree. But angle GED is equal to 126 degree. Therefore, we can say that angle AGE is also 126 degree. This is angle AGE. Now, we have to find angle GEF. We have to find angle GEF. Now, angle GED, angle GED is 126 degree. It is given if you look at angle GED, this is angle GED, this is G, this is E, this is D, and here we have a perpendicular, EF, 
So that means this angle FED plus angle GEF. The sum of these two angles is 126 degrees. Or angle GEF. Or angle GEF plus angle FED. Is equal to 126 degrees. But this angle FED. Is 90 degrees. This angle FED is 90 degrees because EF is perpendicular on CD. Because EF is perpendicular on CD. So therefore, angle GEF plus angle FED, which is equal to 90 degrees, is equal to 126 degrees. Here we can find angle GEF. 126 minus 90. It means angle GEF is equal to 6, 36 degrees. Angle GEF is 36 degrees. Now, this is angle GEF. We have to find angle FEG. FGE, FGE. Now you first pause the video, note it down. Let me rub this. Now, angle AGE plus angle FGE. Now, angle AGE plus angle FGE. This angle AGE plus angle FGE is equal to 180 degree. These are linear pair of angles. Angle AGE, we have already found out. Angle AGE, that is 126 degree. Plus angle FGE is equal to 180 degree. That means angle FGE is equal to 180 minus 126. Or we can say that angle FGE is equal to 54 degree. 54 degree. 180 minus 126 is 54. Note it down. Let's move to question number 4. Fourth question. In figure, PQ is parallel to ST. The figure is given. This. This is PQ. It is parallel to ST. ST is given here. PQ is parallel to ST. Angle PQR. Angle PQR. This is R here. angle PQR is 110 degree and angle RST angle RST RST this angle is 130 degree 130 degree find angle QRS you have to find this angle QRS, we have to find out. Now, what is given? Given is PQ is parallel to ST. Angle PQR is equal to 110 degree. And angle RST is equal to 130 degree. 
required to find angle QRS, this angle QRS. This we have to find out. Here let us do the construction part. Construction means what we need to prove the question, but it is not given in the question. That part is known as construction. Let me draw a line here through R. We draw a line. Name this line as AB. Parallel to PQ and parallel to ST. This line AB it will be both parallel to PQ and parallel to ST. Through R. Draw a line AB parallel to PQ parallel to ST because both PQ and parallel PQ and ST are parallel. When we draw a line AB parallel to PQ, that means AB will be parallel to ST also. Now AB is parallel to ST. Let me first state AB is parallel to ST. This AB is parallel to ST. Therefore, this angle plus this angle. These are conductive interior angle. Their sum will be equal to 180 degrees. It is like this. This is ST and this is AB. Here we have point R. This R S is joint. When AB is parallel to ST, that means this angle plus this angle. Angle TSR plus angle SRB is equal to 100. These are consecutive interior angles. These are consecutive interior angles. Now, AB is parallel to ST. Therefore, angle RST. Plus angle SRB is equal to 180 degree. These are consecutive interior angles. These are consecutive interior angles. But what angle RST is 130 degree it is given. That means this angle RST. Is 130 degree plus angle SRB is equal to 180 degree. That means angle SRB is equal to 180 degree minus 130 degree. Angle SRB is equal to, I think it is 50 degree. So this means this angle SRB, this angle, it is 50 degree. Now, you take, now, PQ is parallel to AB. PQ is parallel to AB and QR is transversal. Therefore, angle PQR Angle PQR is equal to angle QRB. This PQR, this angle, it will be equal to this whole angle. These are alternate interior angles. Or angle PQR, it is 110 degree. Is equal to angle QRB. If you look at angle QRB, it is angle QRS plus angle SRB. Look at angle QRB. It is angle QRS plus angle SRB. So it is 110 degree is equal to angle QRS plus angle SRB. We have already find it out. 
it is 50 degree. That means angle QRS is equal to 110 minus 50. Angle QRS is equal to 60 degree. So that means this angle QRS is equal to 60 degree. So we have completed first four questions of exercise 6.2. The remaining questions we will discuss in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Have a nice day.